here's the champions, Pat. Yes, Marcus and Karen Hilton. Beautiful fluidity with so much power and charisma. He always, or they always look as if they're enjoying themselves. Generalizations are always very dangerous, Pat, and so specifics are probably better. And I'm going to make a specific point that you might have noticed while judging. Generally in the Foxtrot, a lot of couples seem to be endeavouring to get a smooth, continuous movement through the bodies, but sometimes arriving late onto the foot. And some are doing it so dangerously that I am starting to consider that they're not even in time with the music. Did you notice this in the early rounds at all? Yes, and when I noticed them, they didn't get my mark. Um, the precision of particularly the quicks have got to be very clear and in time with the music. That's wonderful to hear you say that, Pat. I uh, entirely agree. So either we're both right or we're both wrong. Now, here's a couple of uh, strong dancers. Yes, they, they're clearly in time with the music. Mm -hmm. They have the power and the strength. And it still looks very calm. And they have enough time to do everything. Yes, my notebook reads, Foxtrot timing right on. Again, I, I measure it like you seem to do with those quicks. They hit those quicks. They still have the power, the flow, the swing, the flight, call it what you will. They have to learn to have a slower division on the slow, but the body weight has to flight. And if this is not correctly done, it slows yeah. out of time. That's it. And you're not going to be in the fire if you do it. And so the couples are leaving the floor. <coughs> While they're doing so, we have the opportunity to see some more slow motion this time. And it's the defending champions, Please Marcus and Karen. For your third dance in the tango. 28, 53, 76, 146, 169, and 191. 